final week of the regular season and Georgia Evans lost the region crown to Heritage on a tiebreaker last year with a win tonight. The Knights would win the region outright and finish one win better than they did a season ago. Evans has a dynamic backfield between Demikas Taylor and this man. Corey Watkins, watch the cuts here. Special next level stuff. That's the reason why we're going to see him in the next level. Big game. Knights kick a field goal on that drive. This was a defensive battle in the first quarter. Heritage goes to the air. Kobe Betty's pass tipped and picked off by Diedrich Holmes. Evans in business and driving again, but Taylor faces heavy pressure on third down. Sacked in the backfield by a group of Heritage players. Doesn't take long for Evans to get the ball back. Check out Watkins again on this run. He's so much fun to watch. The spin and dive into the end zone. Evans wins the region championship for the first time since 2008, beating Heritage 42 to 35. Lots more to get to on this 12th week of Football Friday Night. Football Friday Night is powered by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Your CSRA Chevy dealers, Chevrolet, find new roads. Augusta Technical College, your leader in cybersecurity programs. Great deals on furniture. The deals are here. The deals are now. Game time, boy. Jostens, Georgia Campus Services, celebrating moments that matter since 1897. Now, the leader in local high school football coverage, WJBF Sports brings you Football Friday Night. Thank you for joining us again on another week of Football Friday Night. It is week 12 of the high school football season, and Zach Hughes, that means it's playoff time as well. It's the best time of the season with the playoffs starting in South Carolina tonight. A few of our area teams had first-round buys, but mo most were in action on what was a picture-perfect night around the CSRA. Absolutely. We'll get to those games in our next segment. But first, the final week of the regular season in Georgia with one of our premier matchups of the entire 2017 season. In a battle of unbeatens, Jefferson County at Screven County for the region title and a top seed in the playoffs. Screven won 49-34 last year in a shootout. This year, the Gamecocks hosting. C.J. Wright powers up the middle, goes inside the 20 on the next play. Kim Hunter around the end and into the end zone. The Gamecocks strike first, 7-0 over Jefferson County. Now 9-0 after a Jefferson County safety in Armani Bunbury. Takes it down to the five. Look at that move. What a fake as he cuts up field. Third and goal, and C.J. Wright powers it in for the score. And with the two-point conversion, it is 17 to nothing. Screven County dominating early second quarter. Watch this throw. Warriors on the move. Jane Jenkins finds Ty King in the end zone. Gets it with a couple of defenders in his face. Jefferson County back in it, but not for long. Screven County's Jonathan Roberts takes the kickoff and rambles down the far sideline, following his blockers. He takes it all the way inside the Jefferson County 10-yard line. Two plays later, Armani Bunbury, watch this, being tackled and somehow flips the ball out to Kim Hunter, who goes in for the score. What a heads-up play. 44-20, Screven County beats Jefferson County to win the region for the second straight year. Both of those teams will be at home next week to start the playoffs. Well, with Evans' win over Heritage, Grovetown could lock up the number two seed with a win over Lakeside. It was a special evening at Grovetown. The Salute to Service game sponsored by the Atlanta Falcons. Players sporting those sweet military-themed uniforms and skydivers. Awesome. Harris shooting in with the flag. An awesome scene there. First quarter, Grovetown deep in Lakeside territory. D'Angelo Durham takes the handoff, finds a crease, and takes it in for the touchdown to put the Warriors up 7-0. Later in the first half now, Lakeside with the ball. Jaden Taylor looking to pass. He'll pull it down, try to run. But Grovetown's Greg Rogers comes up with a huge hit to pop the ball loose. Grovetown recovered, and the Warriors got the win 24-7. They'll be a number two seed for the playoffs. Well, this season has been a mirror image of last year for Greenbrier. The Wolfpack once again started the season 5-0, but have lost four straight region games to fall out of playoff contention. Trying to finish the season on a positive note with a win over Alcovey. Third quarter, it's 14-3 Wolfpack. Hayden Harrison keeps. Nice little B button for the spin move, making the defenders look silly and fights his way in for the touchdown to put Greenbrier up 21-3. Alcovey trying to fight back. Andre Robinson takes the handoff to the sideline, cuts back inside, makes a defender miss, and he's off to the races. But Greenbrier's Jonathan Cole 
shows off some serious speed to prevent the score. But on the very next play, Nick Simmons finds Cameron Fong for over the middle. He gets into the end zone, but the Wolfpack get the win 21-10 to finish the year. Well, that Screven County Jefferson County game was certainly one of the best matchups this season. Yeah, and another one was Burke County's three point win over Thompson last week. The Bulldogs looking to bounce back against ARC and lock up a two seed in the playoffs. ARC led 31 28 at halftime, but Tyreek Broswell ain't having it. Cuts up field, breaks through a defender, and nobody's catching him on this play. Gets to the end zone on the far sideline. Broswell puts Thompson back on top, starting what would be a big second half for the Dogs. ARC responds in a spectacular way. Look at that catch by Dontavian Stevens off of defenders' hands into his own hands. Unfortunately, ARC only got a field goal out of it. If you missed it, don't worry. It's coming up later in the show. Later on in this game, Thompson's Christian Tutt being recruited as a defensive back, but he can play offense and special teams. A dangerous return man breaks free for the punt return touchdown. Thompson pulls away in the second half for a 69-34 win. Glen Hills, Butler, and Laney fighting for the final playoff spot in their region. Pretty packed house at Glen Hills tonight. Spartans with a one-game edge over the others, so a win tonight would put them in the playoffs. 22-14, Glen Hills just before half. Butler with the ball. Anthony Grant looking for Martin. Drez McBride, perfect breakup by North Royal. Still 30 second, 36 seconds left, though, in the half. Butler stays aggressive. Grant rolls out, finds Carlton Jones. He turns up field, picks up some nice yards before running into a defender and lunging forward. Shortly after, Grant delivering a solid pass from the pocket to Thomas Hudson. Spartan defenders whiff on him, and he's into the end zone. Just 10 seconds before halftime, the Bulldogs just down two. Butler rallies for a 34-30 win. Westside wrapped up its season at home against Harlem. No postseason for the Patriots. The Bulldogs, meanwhile, were looking up, looking to lock up the number three seed from that region behind Screven and Jefferson County. Second quarter, Harlem up 21-0. A.J. Brown takes the handoff, sheds a couple tackles, and scampers in for a 25-yard touchdown. That put the Bulldogs up 28-0. Ensuing Westside possession now. Lorico Williams takes the handoff, finds a crease, and takes it down inside the Harlem 10-yard line to set up a first and goal, but it's now fourth and goal. Tyree Frazier lobs it up for Jamison Pettiford, but Taquan Tucker there to knock it away and keep the shutout intact for Harlem, and the Bulldogs win it 35-0. They'll be a three-seed for the playoffs. Well, what a way to wrap up the regular season in Georgia. Yeah, several other teams in our area were on the road tonight, including some Class 1A teams competing in postseason playing games. Keep tabs on the score on the ticker or check our website WJBF.com after the show as well. Aquinas did win their region over Stratford Academy. Coming up next, it's playoff time in the Palmetto State with a couple of Aiken County schools hoping to make a deep postseason run, but one team's run was cut a little early tonight. That's next on FFN. We are the Round High School Cheerleaders and you're watching Football Friday Night. Supporting high school athletics, McDonald's, proud sponsor of football Friday night.